We're back at my house with Trish Magwood, chef, author, and we're gonna make another great meal. Trish stopped by my house again, and this time she has three fabulous new dishes to teach me and you how to make. We're gonna do a sticky fish in disguise. A sticky fish, I've never made a sticky, sticky fish, fish in my life. Well, we really just need maple syrup to make it a sticky okay. fish. And that's okay. because in our house, there's some non-fish lovers. Okay. It's high to fish. Yep. Uh, and then we're gonna balance that off with a nice ode to the Swiss Alphorn Gruyere and par Parmesan cheese, tomato, potato, gratin. Yum. And then, because my grandmother always said you have to have color on the plate, so okay. we're gonna do a broccolini. Yes. So you can use a rab, a broccolini, and we're gonna do it with- With peanuts? I know, maybe. We're gonna try like a little peanut sauce. Okay. Sort of, yeah. Are we making it up or you've done this before? Um, well this one I haven't done before, so we're actually making it up. Okay. Yeah. I invited <laughs> Trish to come to my house to and teach up. us how to cook recipes she knows, but apparently we're just gonna make stuff up. Okay, what do you want me to do? You want uh, me to well, peel these? First, we'll do the potato gratin, since it will take the longest to bake. So we have russet potatoes. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna make the like cream sauce situation. So this isn't low fat, like exactly, which okay. is fine. So a little bit of 35% cream, but this is being shared much, many ways. So that's like a quarter of a cup generous. That's a half a cup. Okay, and then about the same for our chicken stock. You, you buy your chicken stock, huh? Well, where no, I'm just here. asking. Yes, yes, I totally do. If I'm doing scallop potatoes on a, what are we at, Thursday night together, yep. then absolutely I'm buying like the $3 and no one's gonna be the wiser, so yes. So we're gonna do um, Parmesan and Gruyere, so we need okay. about three quarters of a cup mix. What's the, why do you like to mix the two of them together? I just like the flavor combination and we can also put, so Gruyere is more classic for a scallop potato. Okay. Hey boss, which grater? Yeah, well, I like okay. that one, what about you? I like that one too. This is a take on a scallop potato, but it's a gratin, and we're adding tomatoes because somewhere, sometime, I had a fried green tomato mm. gratin. Okay. So instead, I was just gonna make it a little bit more user friendly, and we're just gonna slice some tomatoes, and it's gonna be like a delicious situation in the oven all bubbling together. Do you like rosemary? I love the smell of it. Do you, so it's a bit strong, like I, I feel like I feel it's like not for everybody. Like, stick it in here. It goes in your, with your outfit. Yeah, right? A tablespoon, which is probably like two of those stems. Okay. So that's gonna go in with our cream and our stock. It's like we're making a little sauce. Okay. And a little bit of garlic. So, so far we have half a cup of whipping quarter, cream. Quarter of a cup of cream. That was a half. <laughs> Like Let's half a cup stock. of chicken stock. Okay. And then I might have rounded it up a bit. Okay. About a tablespoon, generous, of rosemary. And we'll put in two cloves of garlic. Okay. What is our oven at? It should be hot, like 450. Okay. So okay. there, and we have, I think we have cracked pepper. We can add yeah. that. Of course we have pepper. This I had to BY my own, because I didn't know if you had. I do have one, actually. Oh. I don't use it very often. I'm always afraid I'm going to cut my fingertip off. Well, it off, is a bit but... stressful. So this one doesn't have that hand protector. Yep. Kind of Mine has a, a hand nervous. protector. Yep. So then I just like bail part way through. The other thing you need Why to is yeah. a, this, right? Because then it doesn't. That helps. Yeah, this helps. Are you going to do that? You might end this? up with some grated tea towel. <laughs> Today we're doing a very fancy <laughs> potato gratin uh, avec, avec some that, grated tea towel. Uh, put a tea towel. You do. What else? So I can... we're gonna slice those. Okay. Now, my mother doesn't like the fact that sometimes I use a bread knife because sometimes my knives aren't perfectly yeah. sharp. And then and she's like, it's not good for the bread knife. And it, but I why is it bad for the bread knife? How can a tomato hurt a bread knife? I don't know. It's also not. It's just not what you're supposed to do. Anyway, sometimes I use a bread knife to cut tomatoes. Or, or to sharpen, sharpen the knife. Damn knife. Okay, oh, so. still. See, I'm with you. What? Uh -oh. I need to find a better knife. I don't understand how how thin are these supposed to be? Yeah, as thin as you, you know, don't thin. That's, Ooh, that's yeah. thin. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get fired. Uh oh. The pressure is on. 
Is that thin enough? That is so perfect. Okay, but I feel very slow. I don't know that no I have the watching. patience for really thinly. Oh, no one's watching. No one's watching. <laughs> so we're just gonna layer. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of butter at the bottom of the pan. Okay. Um, and you're gonna say how much butter, and I'm gonna say that much butter. That's uh, th three, three little slices. Yeah. So I'm layering. First, our, we're gonna do our potato. So three pats of butter go in the bottom. So which is about a tablespoon okay. first. And we're doing it in these sweet little containers. So if we had a larger container, then it would be, we would just be. So any more. container, let's be clear, any container is okay. It just needs to be oven proof. Oven to table yep. and shallow. So you don't wanna do a deep one. So I like these French style dishes. I like oven to table, and so I always think, well, we both, we want it to be, we eat with our eyes, right? So we want it to be beautiful. Don't eat this piece with your eyes. It's too thick, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's, we're not gonna see it. It's, it's, we're not gonna see it. So we're gonna put a little bit of our mixture, which is our chicken stock. Yeah. Our cream, which apparently there's more than we said. I've never made a scalp potato. My mom Rosemary. always makes them. So then, okay, a so little bit of that. another layer. So my kids would say you have to layer the cheese. So we're gonna layer. Salt, we're pepper. gonna do this the way your kids want this. And done. we're gonna layer, let's layer, let's dollop with our butter. Oh, in more butter. Yep. And then we're gonna layer with the cheese. Just a little, just like yep. a teeny bit. So we're gonna do one more layer of potatoes, but then we have to leave room for your perfectly cut tomatoes. <laughs> Don't mock my tomatoes. Now, another layer of potatoes. I think said. we can fit. I think we're gonna do, do it. it. Okay, so let's do the tomatoes and then we'll finish with the cheese. How much tomato? I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow the picture over there. <laughs> if you're wondering what we're looking at. Yeah, show picture. the picture, show okay. the picture. This is from my cookbook. There we, we go. We actually are following the recipe. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a better, that's, we needed there, that size. It's gotta size. look like that, God, it has to look like that. better, ooh. Okay, so let's okay. do. Do we need any more salt and pepper on the top of them or anything? Oh, yeah, we should. We just cheese the tops? Yeah. I thought I salt and pepper just. How, how much right? cheese? Together, it's about three quarters of a cup of cheese, but then again, we were using a smaller container. Okay. So we can get that in the oven. So 450. It's gonna be about 25 minutes-ish. Okay, timer. Next, Trish is showing me how to make that sticky fish. If you're going to the grocery store, mm -hmm. so wherever you're going, if you're going into Loblaws, Foodland, whatever, you can ask them when they got the fish. Okay. And in some stores, you always know it's Wednesday. So Wednesday's fish day, so you buy your fish on Wednesday. Okay. So I think that that's really important, and also it, it, it is going to tell you where it's from. So this is um, rainbow trout, and it's uh, fresh from Ontario. And there's not a lot of fat in it, and it's okay. always quite small, so it okay. cooks, it'll cook really quick. So back to the eight minutes per inch, this is gonna be fast. You're talking inch in thickness is inch your in eight thickness. minutes. Okay, Correct. good tip. Correct. So we're using your small sheet pan with parchment, and you can do one of two things. You can, <laughs> I know, we're trying to save the pan. <laughs> Try to save the pan. I'm the sous chef, I'm the dishwasher <laughs> here. We gotta be good. People who don't like fishy fish, trout is not a fishy it's, fish, it's mild. It is so fresh smelling and it's so mild and so. Doesn't do smell that. as good as the rosemary, but it smells okay. good, yeah. So okay. you can do one of two things. You can marinate it overnight yep. in, um, in your casserole dish yep. or in a Ziploc bag. Okay. You can cook the marinade so it's like a boiled thicker marinade which yep. makes it sticky or you yep. do a quick, quick in here, yep. marinate it and we're gonna cook it in a, in a very hot oven. Okay. So let's go equal parts. Yeah. Um, so equal parts, maple syrup, soy. Yeah. We're yep. gonna do about a tablespoon of Dijon. Okay. And then Does it matter if it's grain or just regular Dijon? Whatever you like. And we're gonna use um, about half a teaspoon of flakes, mm -hmm. chili flakes. Okay. And then we will, um, so you wanna balance out your sweet and your acid and your heat. So it's like a balance. So our sweet is the maple syrup. Our acid is going to be our uh, lemon juice and our heat are the, is the chili flakes. And then we'll go half a lemon yep. in there. And then um, garlic, 
our chili flakes and then fresh ginger. Okay. So you can either peel it. Yeah. Or I just, if, if it's thicker skin sometimes, I just cut and then you make a, something you make round a block. square. Yes. Oh. Yeah, anything that's round, you make it a square so that it's easier. And then okay. grate that. And then I'm going to grate this. Yeah. So if we want, we can cook this stovetop for a minute, boil it so it gets really thick and sticky. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. You yeah, did we not put the garlic in? Did we, did, we didn't put garlic in. Did we put garlic in? The garlic's right there. What should I put the garlic in? Oh, I put the garlic in the potatoes. Yeah, the garlic went in the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> let's put some garlic in. This is why you have to cook with a friend, because you need someone <laughs> checking. Especially, uh, did we put the garlic in? <laughs> We're going to cook this for like literally 30 seconds to get it. That's it? Yeah, it's boiling. So as soon as it boils, it's done. Well, it's and it's starting to thicken. Mm, this smells good. So you want it to cool down a bit, so okay. you're not pouring boiling hot marinade over the fish because right. we start to cook it. You'll see it start to whiten. Mmm. Right. That's gorgeous. So okay. we'll just leave this over here. So let's do our broccolini. Okay. We're gonna do shallots. Yep. Um, chili flakes the broccolini, and then we're gonna do a soy peanut situation. Finely slicing? Yeah. Do you have a French word for that? Uh, that's a fine slice. Okay. One? I like shells. Two? I think we're, what do you wanna do? No, do whatever you uh, want. My eyes are starting to water, I so tell me quickly. One. I think we're good with one. Ooh, that's so strong. Our water's boiling. Yep. And we can add salt and we're gonna blanch them. So the broccolini, we've mm -hmm. cut it, like literally some of the bigger ones, we just cut it down the middle and then just on an angle. And then remove the leaves. Get rid of the leaves. And then some of them we need to split lengthwise because they're too long. And I just go through. Because you want them all to be the same size so they cook at the same time. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna blanch this for like, literally until it goes vibrant green, like 20 seconds. Okay. Running it under cold water. I feel like I'm at the sink at the salon right now. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, our shallots are ready to go and our peanuts and garlic are ready to go. Okay. Look at oh those. my gosh. See your tomatoes look perfect. Is that an individual portion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now gonna put the fish in because the fish is gonna be eight minutes while we're cooking the broccoli. Okay. Let's fire up our engines. We're gonna tag team on the broccolini. Okay. So I'm gonna make the peanut sauce and you can do the broccolini. So okay. blanch, which you already did, yep. add it dry. Okay. So once the pan gets hot, yep. we'll fry our shallots. Okay. And then we're gonna saute our broccolini and add salt and pepper. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make the peanut sauce. So we each have equal amounts of olive oil, two tablespoons in each. Okay. You're gonna fry the shallots and I'm going to saute the garlic and the ginger. Okay. In this pan, I'm making like kind of a basic peanut sauce. So what are you wanting here? They're just, are they going, am I trying to brown this? We're gonna get some color, not too much, okay. just like a light brown, and you've got it on a nice high heat, so then the, this will all cook very fast. Very fast. The peanuts, I just did a rough chop. Okay. So I'm gonna basically make like a very rough peanut sauce. Then I'm gonna add some soy sauce and some honey. Doesn't that look Dinner. delicious? I, I look at this, I'm like, you never made, never made, never made. And now you did. All in one. Ta-da! Having Trish over has been so fun and I've learned so much. Stay tuned to see who stops by next at my house. This is so <laughs> yummy. I have a lot to learn. I don't want to cut into this, it looks so pretty.